Hey everyone, hi there, it's Dr. Jen Trachtenberg. So nice to see you all today, thanks for joining me. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Jen, board certified pediatrician and parenting and child wellness expert. And this is, happens to be National Nutrition Month. And today's topic that I'm talking about is snacks for kids. Should my kid be eating snacks? Um, and I hear this all the time from parents. Should they be having snacks? What kind of snacks? How often? Um, so I'm gonna answer all those questions today and even talk about, if you keep on listening, the difference between a snack and a treat or a dessert, because they really are two distinct things and I really want parents to understand the difference um, and the need for both. So let's um, first get started with, do my child need snacks and or should they be eating snacks? And the answer is yes. Kids actually have small stomachs um, and so they can't eat that much all at once. In fact, a serving for a child is about the size of their fists. So not our fists as adults, but their little hands, their little fists um, on their plate. So that would be their proteins and their carbs and their fruits and their vegetables. That small amount is actually the serving, a full um, serving for the child to have. Um, so they also need one or two snacks a day. Um, and snacks are really a great way to get the nutritional requirements that kids need. It's a great way for them to get their extra fruits and vegetables as well too. Um, so yes, kids do need snacks. It's just what kind of snacks are they getting? And we're gonna talk about that more. So let me give you some of the tips to get the most health benefit out of the snacks that you serve your kids. So my first tip is to cut out the juice. Instead, serve whole fruit. And that's really, really important, right? Kids don't need juice, why? Because it's just really, really sugary water. Even if it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup in, which many, many fruit drinks and juices have, 100% um, fruit juice has oftentimes lots of apple juice in it, um, and it has a lot, a lot of sugar. So for example, if you're drinking on orange juice, right in one cup, you may have like six or seven squeezed oranges. So that's a lot, a lot of sugar. Whereas if you're eating just the orange, um, you're getting the pulp and you're getting the fiber as well too. So it doesn't wreak as much havoc on your uh, sugar levels and not going up and down for your child, um, insulin levels. Um, also really high concentrations of sugar um, can cause diarrhea. Um, and so it's really important for kids uh, to be eating that whole fruit, obviously for us adults as well too, but eating that fruit has so many more uh, benefits. So how do you get those kids to eat more of those fruits and vegetables? Well, first of all, serve them often um, and cutting them up. It really, really works. Um, I know this firsthand as a mom. So for example, um, giving my kids melon balls when they were in like the little spheres, the little circles, kids love to eat them. Um, have berries, um, strawberries cut up in containers where it's easy to grab and go. Um, even making like a kebab. So just taking like an ordinary, um, you know, that stick that you can buy, um, a skewer that's made out of wood or what have you, or metal, and you just put the, um, fresh fruits and vegetables right on there and kids love to eat them and take them off and eat them. And of course dips, right? Kids love to dip things as well too. So if you have some yogurt that kids can dip it in, you can even make, for example, like a parfait in a glass, put in some red berries and then some blueberries, put a dollop of yogurt on top or even a dollop of whipped cream. Um, your kids will love it. And it's a fun snack that's really nutritious for them to have as well too. So just forego the juice and go right for the fruit. Um, my second tip is to make snack an activity. So if kids are having a snack, that is their activity. They shouldn't be walking around or playing, um, specifically not watching TV. You want your kids to be sitting, if you can, at a table, being mindful and eating and um, paying attention to what they're eating. Because we know when kids are either just walking around or they're watching TV, they eat so many extra calories and it's usually junk and garbage. Um, you know, uh, snacks that they're eating. And they may be eating a whole bag of potato chips and not even knowing it when they're watching TV. So you wanna be mindful um, and be really thinking about what they're eating and um, have them paying attention. So you don't wanna be multitasking. Again, have snack, really carve that in as part of the day and part of the activity, even if it's just a few minutes or so. So the next tip is to think outside the conventional snack bag. So as I said, you know, parents often think a snack has to be popcorn or chips or cookies, something that's a package that's highly processed. And that's not it at all. Snacks can actually be the leftovers from the meal if they didn't finish their meal. Um, and if they liked it, but they just didn't finish it, you can give, you know, if they had like pasta that was left over, um, they can have that as a snack. Other snacks, again, it's a great time to get in extra fruits and veggies, so cut them up. 
um, peppers kids love to eat and dip them into hummus and they are you know you can make your own snack mix take a whole grain um, low sugar cereal you could add in some craisins you can even add in um, some berries or you can add in some nuts as well too and just put that in a little uh, container and kids can eat that um, a great healthy snack high in fiber as well too um, even turkey you know breast they can just roll it up and eat that as a snacks um, celery with peanut butter on it cheese and crackers so again foods can be snacks it's really just the smaller quantity is what makes it a snack it can really be healthy again if you don't have a lot of time um, milk is actually a great snack as well too so milk a cup of milk has eight grams of protein so it's a high protein source and um, kids can have that it's high in calcium they can get the vitamin d that they need um, as well as i said a serving of calcium there's um, potassium as well as b vitamins so even just a glass of milk is a great snack um, for kids to have in between a meals particularly if they're drinking water at the meal time so another tip for parents for you guys out there is to really make sure that you don't confuse boredom with hunger so oftentimes kids say, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, or they're whining, and so we just you know, give them food, or we give them some cookies, or we give them some crackers or goldfish. And it's really not that they're hungry, it's just that they're bored, um, or they need something to do. And so you have to sort of tease that out. You don't wanna just be feeding them all the time, um, because again, then they won't eat their meals if they're sort of grazing throughout the day. So if it's time for them to have a snack, if they need some nutrition to, to hold them over till their next meal, then that's fine. But if it is boredom, you know, what you can do instead is give them a, a glass of water and then try to do an activity with them. So um, my tip I'm going to give you is that if, for example, um, you know, instead of just telling your child, go uh, build blocks or go read a book, if you start the activity with them, um, if you start coloring with them, then they get into what they're doing and then you can sort of fade yourself back um, and get whatever you need to be done. Obviously, you're, if you need to supervise, you'll be there, but then they'll start to... Uh, be interested in their activity, whether it be Legos or coloring, um, you know, uh, playing independently, um, pretend play. There's so many different things, puzzles kids can be doing. But if you start to initiate with them, um, then they often get into the activity. And again, their mind goes off of them saying they're hungry when they really weren't, when they just needed an activity to do. So really kind of, you know, take a second to think um, about that, that the child may not be hungry, it may that they be bored or need something to do. Um, and then lastly, I really wanted to talk about the difference between snacks and dessert. They're totally two distinct things. So snacks, as I said, are almost small meals that you're giving your child, whereas a dessert is something that usually comes after a meal or dinner time. Um, and a dessert is not something that they need to have all the time, unless, again, it's a fruit. Um, but you shouldn't really be like you're eating dinner, so then you can have dessert. So, um, you know, dessert or treats can be on special occasions, whether it be, for example, ice cream or cake. And, you know, usually when we say dessert, we think of something sort of, um, sort of calorie dense, um, maybe high in sugar, not always, but you know what I'm talking about, like ice cream and, and fun stuff that kids like to eat. So um, it's okay for them to have that. As a mom and a pediatrician, I can tell you, your kids are going to eat that. They're going to eat cake. They're going to have cookies, um, ice cream, ice pops. Um, it's just you have to think about um, the quantity, right? So you don't you are in charge of how much they get. So if you're giving ice cream, you only want to give them, you know, say one scoop of ice cream. You don't need to give them three or four. It's just not necessary. Same thing for cake as well. And if you're having dessert, you know what? Go ahead and enjoy it. I think that's really important. I don't, I tell parents all the time, you know, you don't want to talk about good foods and bad foods and, and you know, make such a distinction and sort of stress the kids out. You want to kind of keep it neutral. They can have, they can have it, they should enjoy it. Um, you can enjoy it too, but make sure that most of the time that they um, are not having dessert every single night. It's just really for special occasions. And as I said, portion size is really what's important too. So enjoy that cake, enjoy that ice cream. Don't make it a big deal. Um, keep portion size um, at top of hand and in, in, in your mind. Um, and then for the most part, really, if you are um, there to provide healthy foods for your family, and that's your job, your job is to provide the healthy foods, to have them there for your child, they're then able to decide if they want and how much. Um, you don't want to force them to have it. You don't want to bribe them with some sugary dessert afterwards. Um, but if you're going to give them the dessert, you're going to give them dessert and have a good time with it. 
So I hope that all makes sense. And again, if you really uh, think about it and give high nutrient foods to your family and your kids throughout the day, um, over time, they really will become have a healthy development relationship with food as well. So it's really important. It takes time. It doesn't work overnight, um, but you'll see as your child grows and grows that they have a healthy relationship with food. If you have more questions about snacks or other nutrients or foods for your child, um, please leave them below in the comments. Um, you can either go to my website, drjen.com for more information, or you can reach me there as well too, or on Facebook or Instagram as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and speak to you guys again soon. Have a great day.